The C programming language is 50 years old in 2022. Let that sink in for a second, 50 years. In the tech world, for something to last even a decade is a tremendous achievement. C programming shows no indication of backing down anytime soon, especially due to its heavy use in embedded devices and operating systems. Programming in C gives you full and precise control to almost all aspects of the hardware. The same freedom opens up possibilities for more human errors, allowing developers to make disastrous mistakes, leaving their code full of memory leaks and vulnerabilities. Ender Rust, a systems programming language developed in 2010 by Mozilla Research. It is constantly rated the most beloved on the Stack Overflow's annual developer survey. More and more organizations are looking to make use of Rust, including Microsoft. Several organizations in the embedded space are already using Rust. In this episode of 5-Minute Tech Take, we can do a brief but useful overview of Rust programming, its features and limitations in the context of embedded programming. I would highly appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button if you like what you are watching. High-level features and low-level control are often at odds in programming language design, especially in embedded systems. Rust challenges this conflict. Rust gives you the option to control low-level details such as memory usage without all the hassle traditionally associated with such control in C. Low-level code is prone to a variety of subtle bugs which in most other languages can be caught only through extensive testing and careful code review by experienced developers. In Rust, the compiler plays a gatekeeper role by refusing to compile code with the three main types of bugs. 1. Memory Bugs Rust's compiler is designed to enforce memory and resource ownership, ensuring that any misuse of memory is caught at the compile time. Furthermore, in a world where 70% of all security vulnerabilities are the result of memory bugs, safe Rust reduces the attack surface for IoT device hackers. 2. Concurrency Bugs A data race occurs when multiple threads attempt to access a shared resource and at least one of them is attempting to modify it. Rust programming uses the same enforced mechanisms that prevents memory corruption to prevent unsynchronized access to a shared resource. 3. Undefined behavior bugs Undefined behavior is impossible in safe Rust. Any operation that compiles has a well-defined set of outputs and side effect. The above three bug handling by Rust makes Rust a safe language. Other than this, there are several features of Rust that make it better than C. They are as follows. 1. Powerful static analysis. Have you ever tried to read a pin but it was accidentally configured as an output? This will never happen in Rust as it enforces pin and peripheral configuration at compile time. 2. Interoperability with C. It is very easy to integrate Rust into your existing C code base or leverage an existing SDK to write a Rust application. 3. Portability. Rust allows you to write a library or driver once and use it with a variety of systems ranging from very small microcontrollers to powerful single board computers. This is possible due to the presence of the hardware abstraction layer. To learn more about HAL, please check out the video description. 4. Community Driven As part of the Rust open source project, support for embedded systems is driven by a best-in-class open source community with support from commercial partners. Rust is not perfect by any means. Now let's look at limitations of Rust programming. 1. Target support. Nearly every platform can be programmed using C. In Rust, this is not so much the case. As of now, one of the best supported platforms is the ARM Cortex-M architecture-based platforms. Other microcontrollers and single board computers have to wait for support. 2. Compile time. Rust is very notorious for its long compilation times. It is significantly longer than C. Furthermore, Rust's strictness forces developers to recompile more often which can lead to a loss in developer productivity. But please note that the resulting executable code is just as fast as its C equivalent. 3. Steep Learning Curve Rust introduces many new features which include the Borrow Checker. Borrow Check allows Rust to handle memory issues, but the new features may make it longer to learn and master Rust. We have come to the end of the video and you can like and share the video if you found it useful. Also don't forget to subscribe to Chip in Detail for more such videos.